got uh, Enric Mass as well in the sidecar. Who's going to get there first, Sean? 1,900 metres. Well, it's in the balance of the moment, 18 seconds. We can see the advantage is coming down for Vine, and, you know, he is uh, looking like he's starting to struggle a bit, but you can see Mass here, you know, sitting in the uh, wheel of Evan Poole. He's suffering also. Everybody is on the limit here, and you just have to dig, dig deep here, give it your all, and hopefully that you have enough to hold on this final 1,800 metres. But, yes, it looks like that they're closing down a little bit more at the moment, but 19 seconds, it's uh, still a possibility for Jay Vine to take stage. Well, it bounced to less than that. He's responded. Uh, I, I'm sure the car is screaming in his radio. They're all leaning back here on uh, Primus Roglic, of course. And, of course, they are. Uh, Jai Hindley just uh, tucking in on his uh, back wheel. There's no shame in following Primus Roglic. Roglic like, looks like he's got a second breath here, and he's holding the margin. Uh, although, as you can see, it's a, a minute and 17. It's, it's not a great one. It's not great reading for him later on today. Let's see how significant it is if we get deeper into this race. Meanwhile, we're with Ayuso, he's at 47 uh, as a margin, 19 seconds with 1500 metres to go Jay Vine, it does ease for him at the very last, but he's busy going through the hairpins, he can't see too much of it because the camera work is so tight at the moment, because there's probably what, uh, 25 metre visibility only here we're coming up out of the mist and here is a man who wants a clear sight of the line, Remco Evenepoel, Enric Mas, uh, the face full of grimaces, we're used to seeing that, that does not mean he's finished by the way, that's just his nature in situations like this. But Evan Apol now just started to turn it on yet again. 18 seconds. Can he uh, get back at Jay Vine? Jay Vine's looking like he's going to make something historic here out of a career that's taken or come in from, uh, you might say, uh, a strange angle. But it's becoming ever more familiar, ever more real to us. And Jay Vine can make us believe in it, make us believe in a whole new route to success. He's got a margin of 19, 20 seconds now as he's coming to the Flamme Rouge. Well, Jay Vine, he's come out of the virtual world on Zwift, eSport world champion, and he's virtually got this one in the bag. 19 seconds. Even a pull double down at about 2.5k to go. But Jay Vine, now he's easing back away, second by second. So the Australian holding off the Belgian and the Spaniard. Jay Vine is looking to get his very first win on the road as a professional to hang up next to that virtual eSports world championship. The Townsville Tornado is uh, heading home and he's working in a tempest here, I can tell you. Just look at the weather conditions. Not what you'd pick, but the drama has been absolutely remarkable. No helicopter shots all downstairs, as you can see, but it's up top and top of the world for Jay Vine. He's 21 seconds. Evan Apol knows it's not going to happen, so he'll start to uh, moderate, I think, his pace just a little bit. He'll be looking for bonus seconds. Ayuso is at uh, 55 seconds and I think about 25 five further behind is the Roglic group here. This is a big statement, not only from Jay Vine, but by Remco Evenepoel, and I have to say, Enric Mass as well. Super they have been. Sean, we're nearly there. Yes, well, it looks like that uh, Jay Vine is going to get the stage honours here, and, um, you know, Evenepoel doing a great job, uh, but, you know, not enough to uh, take the uh, victory, but he's making, you know, big inroads uh, in the overall GC standings, and uh, prove that he is going to be a one you know, uh, in this welter that he can challenge to win the race outright. But we can see Primoz Roglic, he is defending very well. 117 was the final check we had there and looked like that he was going to lose a lot of time when he got distant, a long, long way down this mountain. And he has a lot of the other big favourites in tow as well. So, you know, it's a, it's a good day for uh, Evan Poole, but for some of the big favourites, it looked like it was going to be a really, really bad one, not turning out too bad. 21 seconds, uh, picking up the pace here. Uh, there's nothing clearing. This cloud is uh, sitting atop uh, this mountain. And here's Jay Vine. He's practically sprinting home. You can't see it because visibility is, is, so, is so narrow here. Jay Vine has borne fruit brilliantly here. And it's going to be a vintage performance by this man. It's the start of a whole new chapter in a career that has been remarkable in every single turn. And there's been another twist to a story here today. This is a finish line. 
Can you believe it? I can't. Well, he's coming through here. It looks like he's fighting through Candy Floss. It's going to be equally as sweet for this man. So will the taste of the wine for Vine. A little bit later on, the celebrations let them begin right now. I'm sure he's holding his arms in the air. We wouldn't know it. But you know what we do know is he has won the day. The clock's counting against him at the moment, against everybody else, I should say. Vine has finished. And now, Evan Apol crosses the line. Henry Mass in third place. Goodness me. Pick the bones out of this soup, for goodness sake. And we're swimming in it almost.